Welcome back to the Gilded Bubble. This is Carrie, and today I'm going to be making a new soap called Lush Lavender, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first of all, uh, the colors I'm going to be using are Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's, my favorite purple, and <laughs> Sexy Stranger on a Train, also from Mad Micah's, which I couldn't get in focus. And I'm going to be using Lavender and Tonka from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I was recommended this scent because um, it was supposed to be a good dupe for Lush's Sleepy, hence the name, Lush Lavender. Um, I really like this smell. It's actually pretty subtle. I think next time I make it, I'm probably going to add a little bit more fragrance oil to the batch. But um, I've added my um, lye water solution to my base oils and I'm ready to mix it. And I'm doing a drop swirl. So this one isn't gonna be too complex today, but it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous soap. I can't wait to show you the cut. While I'm mixing though, I was actually thinking um, of starting to do shampoo bars. So I have bought some supplies to start testing product out for that. Um, so look for that coming soon. And I'm trying to keep everything either packaging free or plastic free. Um, and so far, so good. I'm doing pretty well there. So I'll keep you posted. Maybe I'll I'll, maybe I'll show me making some shampoo bars in the future. So I'm going to pour off some of this batter so I can do um, my swirl. Doing a little bit of Sexy Stranger on a train. I just love saying that. I bought a ton of that because it's such a pretty rich brown. And I just like, you don't need very many browns. So I was like, I'm going to buy a good size jar of it and then I'll be good. And I love how Pow Pow Purple looks blue when you're, when it's like mixed with oil, but then when it like saponifies in soap, it's beautiful purple, just like the color of that spatula. And I really wanted a swirl that had quite a bit of white in it. I think I talked in one of my last videos about how I like to balance swirls with a little bit of white, um, cause I think it makes the swirl stand out better or even just a very light color. So um, that's why I'm doing this the way that I am. So it's going to be a, a mostly white bar with a swirl of these two. Um, what's fascinating, I think I should have used just a little bit more mica. The way that this particular soap came out, um, the there's not as much color separation between the purple and uh, the brown. So I think if, when I, if I redo this one, I think I'll probably go for a little bit bolder colors. But it still turns out so pretty. I just, you know, you never know until the, until the stuff saponifies whether it's going to be exactly how you want it or not. Um, you can kind of guess if you've played with the colors or the fragrances before, or, you know, you've used them in those exact amounts before, like, yeah, sure you can. But I wanted it to be a little subtle and not be so vibrant to the point of you get colored lather, you know? So I was trying to balance the two and I don't know that I accomplished that. Um, but look at me wiping up spills like a professional. Aw, sweet girl, you got this. I'm like pep talking my past self. <laughs> I actually like doing this as voiceover though, because then I can like make fun of myself and make jokes and talk about other stuff and not have to be totally focused on what I'm doing. I mean, I do, I do pretty well. I'm a teacher, so I, I'm used to, you know, patting my head and rubbing my tummy. But, you know, if you don't have to multitask then it's that much better, right? Get that scale out of the way, girl. So yeah, I put a little bit of TD in there. I'm going to whip it up just a bit because you got to get those specks out of there. Nothing worse than some specks. Although one time I did it in a dark color and it looked like stars. So hey, go with the flow. That's what I say. I think the last couple of videos I did didn't really have like fail moments for me. So maybe I'm on an upswing here. I probably shouldn't jinx myself. I'm doing, um, my next batch is probably going to be a triple batch of cat soaps. I'm going to attempt something I have never done before. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Y'all pray for me, pray for me. So there I'm gonna pour some of the white in. Um, which I didn't worry about getting it pure white because this fragrance uh, does have vanillin in it. So it's probably going to discolor just a little, but I wanted to counteract the, the discoloration in that lighter color just to get it a little closer to white. So hopefully it'll stay at least an off white color. Woo. It's so fluid though. Gosh, this fragrance is great. Like I, I, I experienced no acceleration. Um, if you have had that problem, um, 
I, I, I don't know, maybe it's my recipe, but I had absolutely no acceleration. That batter is so nice and fluid. In fact, I actually prefer to do my drop swirls at a light trace, um, but I wasn't sure how this one was going to operate. So I went ahead and, and did it at emulsion just to be on the safe side. But I think again, another design change I'll probably make in the future is to actually stick blend it just a little bit further, but it still turns out so gorgeous. I mean, look at how pretty that looks there. This would have been a really pretty in the pot swirl too, especially if I had gone to trace with it. Um, would have done a beautiful, beautiful in the pot. Um, the only risk is, of course, because the brown and the purple are so similar tonally. I think that's tone. I probably need to look up my color theory again. But um, they're so similar like that, um, that they do have the tendency to run together and muddy it up. And that kind of happens a little bit. It just kind of overall, you lose a little bit of each color. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, considering that, that this is that lavender is supposed to be a relaxing, sleepy time scent. Ooh, pretty swirl on top. See, you don't get to see that stuff when you're doing it, but on when watching it back later, man. But yeah, as a, as a relaxing scent, um, lavender, I thought, you know, the colors being muted, it works really well. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think I've said that like five times now, so I'll stop talking about it. But yeah, you can see there kind of where the colors are starting to muddle. And at that, at this point, when making this soap, I didn't panic, but I went, oh, I should have waited. I should have let it set up a little more. I should have stick blended more. Um, but you kind of can't stop working once you start, especially once I mix that titanium dioxide into that main um, portion. Uh, you're just not going to get a lot of time to work with it. Your batters are going to start being different thicknesses. And then you're going to have the problem that I had with, well, problem, the um, slight speed bump I had with my Luck of the Irish soap. So, I mean, you know, it ain't the end of the world. But, uh, but see, I'm getting a little, I was started, so I started to, at the end here, pour a little lighter toward the top so that I would have swirling going on throughout. And then also so I could um, do a faux Taiwan uh, on the top of the soap. I gotta quit saying, uh, I don't want to edit this. So we're just, you just got to listen to me, uh, a few times. I love this purple so much, especially with my purple spatula. Remember when I said green was one of my favorite colors? Purple is my other one. It just looks so pretty sitting on top of that. Oh, I'm gonna pour that white through it. It's gonna make such a pretty swirl. But again, it would have, it would have been more to my taste had my batter been just a smidge, smidge thicker. But look at how pretty that is on the top. You guys, you're going to love when I start to swirl this top. It's just so pretty. I hope you're not bored by my pouring, but I love watching soap being poured. So all my videos are going to have nice, nice pours. I mean, especially batter that's this fluid. I, I can't wait until I can scale up enough to do slab molds because... There is nothing more satisfying than watching someone pour a huge batch of soap into a huge slab mold. Like that is the most relaxing. This is why I got into soap making because the action of doing and watching soap being poured is like better than therapy. I mean, I, I don't want to discount therapy because therapy is very important as is medication for many people, myself included. However, just the, just the absolute relaxation that I get from watching soap being poured. It is like, it's like the extremely satisfying tag on TikTok times 10 for me. And yes, I did, I did get a TikTok, but just for the biz. So I am the Gilded Bubble over on TikTok. You can follow me. I only have two videos up. I was trying to experiment with it because um, I'm an old and I don't understand how the kids do the socials these days. But um, <laughs> I, I, th I, I thought TikTok is a good place for so pours and things like that, because it just seems like the medium for it. So hopefully I'll start remembering to film vertically for a few things here and there so that I can add to that. But in the meantime, you'll get all the fun soapy pouring content right here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you do just because I want you to subscribe to my channel. You want to see the soap being poured. You want to, you want to listen to me make fun of myself when I screw up and when I'm messy. See that little blob of soap? Don't you wish she would wipe it up? I do. Do you ever watch someone's YouTube videos and get really judgmental? Come along with me. I judge myself. 
getting the last bit of purple. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to swirl it and I've already done it. Like I know what this is going to turn out like, but I'm getting excited all over again. I want to make soap right now, but I don't have anything on the schedule that I need to do. I have a batch I want to do this weekend. Well, I have three batches I need to do this weekend. But before I do that, I have another one that I need to do. But I want to do it right before I do those three because I need a small batch of soap made in, in a cane mold to make this. Anyway, long story short, I have to do it in a specific order and I have to do it soon. I can't wait. I mean soon before I make this the larger batch. So suffice it to say, I have to do them close together. And so I'm sitting here narrating my videos rather than making any soap. So it's in the frame, in the mold, I'm cleaning it up. And now I get to swirl the top. Yes, get it. Let's do it. Quit cleaning it. I want to get to it. <laughs> yelling again, yelling at me. Here I am with my chopstick, yelling at my past self. But look at that, ah, look at how great that swirls. Y'all wish you could swirl like this. Oh, check it. Look at that wet soap. So shiny, you can hardly see it. I probably should start taking these closer to the camera. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you want me to bring the finished soap up to the camera. <laughs> Presenting my soap. And now you get to see the cut. So while I'm cutting this, I have to tell you why I'm worried about bringing the soap, wet soap up to my camera. It's because I dropped my phone in my oils not too long ago. Yes, that's right. I was mounting it above. Look at that soap though. I was mounting it above my table over the bowl of oil and it fell out of my hand into the, into the oil. So um, iPhones are water resistant and apparently also oil resistant. I was having some issues with my sound for a couple days, but after that it worked fine. So I guess the oil got out of there. But look at how great that swirl came out. So I, like I said, it's a little more of a fluid swirl than I would like only because those colors muddied together just a little bit more. I wanted a little bit starker contrast between them, but since they're so pretty together and then that white is gonna continue to discolor to like a, a cream probably, maybe even a light tan. So it's gonna be a very soothing looking soap. And I think combined with the smell, it's just gonna be mm, that good. So um, I'm, I, I'm happy in the sense that it's a pretty soap. But again, I think I would do it a little bit differently, but look at how great those drop swirls look. That white in there, or that lighter cream, I guess I should say. I just love how that came out. I also love that I have my nails done in this, in this video. <laughs> I need to do that more often. I just get out of it. I did that myself though. I didn't go anywhere for a manicure. Stay home if you can. Wear a mask if you have to go out. Be a responsible human, please. My mom finally got her first round of the vaccine. I'm so excited for her. And they have their second round scheduled. So she and my stepdad are going to be all vaccinated. Love it. They are in the high risk group because of their age. Look at how great that top turned out too, though. That little swirl on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love those little U-shaped drops that you get when you do that. That's why I wanted the white in there like that, because you can see those better. It just comes out so perfectly. I love it. Gotta get all the soap off my hands from the cutter. And yes, I am still cutting with this cheese slicer. Although I will say the last few ones that I have filmed were all made pretty close together. So hopefully by the next soap you see on YouTube, I will have fixed the multi-bar cutter. I'm really putting it off because it just seems like it's gonna be really tedious, but um, you know, let, like, let me know in the comments. Would you like to see me put my soap cutter back together or make an attempt? I don't know. This was me trying to figure out how to cut a piece off the end. And there I go, wait, Carrie, you can't cut. You're not gonna be able to cut that end with that. <laughs> oh, spatial relationships are not my thing. Neither is math. So it's a really bad combo. And I was like, oh, screw it. I'm going to do this later. <laughs> Watch me. I'm like, I'm just going to plane that off later. Yes. Yes, but there is the soap. And now I will share with you what it looks like all cleaned up and photographed for sale. As always, if 
you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, answer my burning questions that I had for you. And if you really love my soap making videos and hearing me make fun of myself, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm at The Gilded Bubble on both of those. And if you'd like to buy some of this deliciously smelling, wonderfully soothing, excellent, fantastical, beautiful soap, you can find me at thegildedbubble.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.